Okay, we're going to get started. Oh. Okay, is the mic on now? Okay. Okay, we're going to get started. Can we bring up uh, the first slides for the 8.30 talk, please? Very good. Okay. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to welcome you all to the second day of the 2019 Annual League meeting. It's uh, for those of you who weren't here yesterday, welcome. For those of you who were here yesterday, I'm glad you survived the night. Um, we had a very interesting day yesterday um, uh, where we discussed all the different things we want to do on the surface of the moon and the immense scientific importance of it. Uh, but today is a little bit different. Okay, for future speakers, you really do have to take this thing like a phaser and shoot it at the back. Okay, so this is, oh geez, go back one. Ah, okay, so there we go. So today's, um, yesterday we heard a little bit about, you know, or not a little bit, we spent the entire day discussing the scientific value of lunar exploration and what we want to do on the lunar surface. Today we're going to talk about how we're going to get there and what we're going to do when we get there. And today is the day we also start talking about Project Artemis. So this morning, we're going to have our keynote speaker, the Deputy Administrator of NASA, Jim Moorhard, uh, give us a little bit of a 10,000-foot view of what's happening. And then we're going to hear from our friends in the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate, HEOMD, and working on the Human Lander System. It's, and, and since it's been a while, since we've had HEO uh, participating in a league meeting, uh, welcome back, guys. Um, so it's a good, good meeting. It's good to have everyone back here. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, STMD, HEOMD, and SMD. We've had a small change in the schedule. Uh, so we bumped uh, uh, Clive Neal for Steve Clark. We'll do Clive Neal's ISRU update uh, from the ISRU meeting this afternoon. Uh, but we're, um, we inadvertently overprinted the NAC meeting Kennedy that's going on today. So for those um, speakers today who uh, worked really hard to be here and there, we really appreciate it. Um, it wasn't intentional, but we deeply appreciate your flexibility and the fact you are in fact here. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? This afternoon, we're going to have representatives from our international partners. Rumor has it they're really excited about the new direction we're going in and we're all interested in hearing uh, what they want to do to help explore the surface of the moon and how we can help them be successful. We're also going to hear from our, uh, our partners in commercial industry this afternoon. As many of you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from the city that powers the world and everyone from Detroit knows the power of American enterprise and what American industry can do when it's unleashed. So I'm, I'm a delighted proponent of, uh, of commercial activity on the moon. And then this afternoon we have a poster session about what we're going to, uh, instruments that we're going to fly in commercial landers and in situ resource utilization. So we have a very exciting day scheduled for today. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start with this picture right here. This is, I'm going to kick off the day. This is one of my favorite pictures from the Apollo expeditions. This is the Apollo 15 lunar module Falcon sitting on the planet Hadley. And it was taken when the astronauts were many, many miles away from the lunar module. I like this picture for a couple of reasons, because among other things, it really drives home the point that the moon is a wilderness, visited only briefly and tentatively. And we only stayed there for a few days in the 1970s. We have not been there and we have not done that. And we've never had the capability to have a permanent off-world presence before. And the other thing I'll point out is I also haven't been there. You know, Jim Bridenstine talks frequently about the Artemis generation. And you know, for many people, I think the seventh human lunar landing will be just as meaningful as the first six because they haven't really experienced it before. I've never built a lunar lander. I'm one of the very few people at JSC who has actual lunar mission flight operations experience, and I'm certainly the only one who's under 50 years old. So this is, this is really important. And 
And the other thing I would also say is this, that we only spent a few days on the surface during the Apollo expeditions, but those few days on the surface, the field work performed by the Apollo astronauts, the samples they brought back, redefined our understanding of the solar system and the universe around us. Only a couple days on the lunar surface. I literally cannot predict the wonders we're going to discover as we return to the moon, this time to stay and collect more samples, make more discoveries, fully incorporate the moon into Earth's economic sphere. It's going to be exciting. So March 26, 2019 started for me as any other day is through a coincidence that no one in Hollywood would ever be able to use in the script. The entire human lunar lander team was at the Kennedy Space Center for a previously scheduled meeting. And that morning in the elevator before the vice president gave his speech, uh, I was uh, in the elevator going down and the guy in the elevator was there for an HVAC conference. He was a, a air conditioner salesman from Chicago and he saw the meatball pin in my lapel and said, why, why are you here? You know, we're here, what's going on at the Space Center? And I was like, well, we're, we're here trying to figure out how to return the United States to its rightful place on the lunar surface for the first time in five decades. And he just sort of shook my hand. He's like, look, I'm from Chicago, but this is really important. And the whole country is depending on you to make this work. So good luck. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's, it's nice, no, no, no pressure. That was before the vice president gave his speech. And then, you know, I, we were all watching this and I, I was watching uh, the vice president give his speech and I, I felt the weight of history hit me. You know, that, that Mark Twain quote of, you know, there are two, two key moments in a person's life, the moment when they're born and the moment when they find out why. This is really important. The United States must return to the moon. And this is going to be a great adventure when we do. And so I'm pleased to introduce for the first time here at the League meeting, uh, one of the people who's charged with making this happen, uh, the Deputy Administrator of NASA, Mr. Jim Moorhart. Let's give him a warm welcome. 